Well, it's time for a Gone Again Refrigerator Review, and I've got something different from the other refrigerators I've reviewed in the past. This is a Set Power RV45S refrigerator or freezer. This refrigerator was sent to me to do a review on free of charge, and uh, but that doesn't, of course, you know if you watch my refrigerator reviews or my uh, portable power station reviews. That doesn't influence what I say. I'm not here to sell you this refrigerator. I'm here to tell you about its features so you can make your own decision. Well, this one is different. Um, I didn't know what to expect when I, because when they, when I was asked to do the review, all you can do is look at the photographs online and check the uh, uh, reviews on it and, and, and make your decision that way. But I had no idea what to expect when I took this thing out of the box. And by the way, the box was incredible. This is the best packaged product I've ever uh, come across. It was, it was, it, the packaging was engineered. <laughs> it was really incredible. Anyhow, I didn't know what to expect. I, 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 I saw pictures and I didn't know how it was gonna feel or, or anything, but my very first impression of this was, it's solid. It's very solid. It has a, um, it's, it's not plastic, it's steel. Uh, some reviewers have said this is aluminum, but it, it's not. It's steel, and um, it's got these really durable, I mean, these are stainless steel latches, and they're very easy to, to uh, snap down or take off, and if you're using it all day, you don't have to have those set, um, but it sure is handy when you're, when you're bouncing around, and if it's bouncing around in the back of a pickup truck or something, to have these nice stainless steel latches on it. On the side, it's got these stainless steel handles, and these are also very solidly mounted into the steel case on this, and they're spring-loaded down, so they'll stay down out of the way. Excellent tie-down spot if you're off-roading. The control features are down here towards the bottom. They're recessed uh, in this panel, so you can uh, they won't scrape on something. It's just a, it's hard to see here, but it's a it's a slight recess here. And uh, it's pretty standard. You, here's your on-off button. You got to push it and hold it for a few seconds. There. Now it's coming on. You can hear it. And it's got your up and down on your temperature. I had it set down at zero doing some testing. Normally I run it up around 34 degrees for our daily use. This is like, it says max and min. This is maximum and this is minimum. This is your eco mode down here. If you set it up on max, it'll uh, cool down faster. It runs the compressor a little faster. And minimum, of course, is eco mode for better uh, power usage. Over here is the high, medium, and low setting. This is to protect your battery. On high, it'll automatically shut off at 11.1 .1 volts and it'll automatically turn back on again at 12.4 volts. If you have this hooked up to uh, uh, a 24 volt system, it, it's different, but it'll do the same thing. And on medium, it'll shut off at 10.1 volts. This would be like if you had it on a deep cycle battery, this would be good for the medium setting. And it'll turn back on again at 11.4 volts. And on low down at the bottom, that's for lithium batteries, it'll shut off at 9.6 volts and turn back on again at 10.9 volts. This is to protect the battery that the refrigerator is running off of. Down here is a fuse, and down here is the only place to plug it in. It doesn't have a 110 and a DC. It, uh, it, use, it just uses the one DC uh, connection. And that means that it's connected to the wall using a power brick. Now this is different in one respect. Here you can see this is your cigarette lighter plug and the power brick actually has a female uh, receiver for this, this male cigarette lighter plug to the power brick and to the wall. I just have it hooked up here temporarily so you can see the controls. It's got a really nice light in it and it's laid out differently inside. It doesn't have, this isn't super deep. This, this refrigerator is, um, is, is not as high and it doesn't have that thick uh, plastic partition in here and this isn't deep, as deep. 
So it's one compartment. It's easier to get at things because it's um, lower and wider here. And this is um, shallower and wider. Now this is a 47 quart, 45 liter. And the other refrigerators I'm comparing it to are 53 quart. So um, there is that difference. But this one is just, uh, we use this and we liked it better because of this wide and this is wide and not as deep. So things aren't so deep down here. It's got a soft rubber seal on the door. I can't tell if the lid is insulated or not, but the fact that I think it is, but just by the sound of it and the feel of it, but this refrigerator did do very well on its efficiency test. One uh, person did uh, complain that, uh, that juices uh, can get into this crack down here between the uh, side aluminum panels and that um, they caulked this up. Just ran a bead of caulk around the bottom. On the other side here, you can see the temperature sensor. So this is where you don't want to put a warm bottle of juice. <laughs> you want to, don't put that right in front of that temperature sensor. Set, it, set, set anything new to the refrigerator, anything warm off to the side. It's really nice that it's aluminum lined. The aluminum to me is better because it, it conducts the cold from the cooling fins directly in. Plastic tends to insulate a bit. Now having the steel on the outside, the steel case, yeah, you can dent it. If you let it bang around in the back of your truck or something, you are going to get dents in it. But uh, it's tough. It's not going to crack. Now I did run some tests on this and it did very well in maintaining temperature. I've had it set at 34 degrees and it's been going between, you know, like about 32 and, and 36, kind of cycling back and forth. Okay, that jug is showing 35 degrees. Thirty-three degrees. So you can see it's maintaining right about thirty-four degrees. Right where I've got it set. Okay, here we are at twenty-four hours and you can see it's at uh, 0.22 watt hours. Okay, now I'm switching from minimum to max because I'm going to run this on down to zero degrees. And what I want to do is just test the temperature. I'm not really concerned here with how much power it's going to draw. I know it's going to draw twice as much. I want to see what temperature it gets down to with this set at zero. I want to see if it's actually like zero. Inside I've placed uh, frozen meat, probably about 20 pounds worth. We'll see how it does. On the freeze test, I, I lost the <laughs> lost the video from that, but I ran it down to zero degrees. I had the meat inside, and it was right between zero and plus five degrees at that setting. The refrigerator has three vents on it instead of the customary two that you see on the others. It's drawing air through the back here through this vent, and then it's allowed to expel warm air through two other vents. So it does get better airflow. I can feel the air coming out of this one for sure. Decibel reading wise, about 56 here, about 60 there. It is louder. It's not a loud refrigerator by any means but it is a little louder. Now on that decibel reading, it is louder than the other refrigerators I've tested, but it's also more efficient. So it used, it was like running a 10 watt light bulb as to the others that I've tested all around 13 watts. So this is more efficient and it did use slightly less power over a 24 hour period than other refrigerators I've tested. Now I don't know if that's because of better insulation or a more um, efficient evaporator and, and uh, compressor. I want to take it apart now and see what's inside. Well, let's turn it off, unplug it and see if we can figure out what's inside. By the way, this has got a um, plastic feet on it and it makes it really easy to slide around. 
like if you need to grab it and move it, um, and these will wear a long time. The other thing it does though is it makes it easy to slide around. So make sure you've got it fastened down or you know put into place real well in whatever vehicle you're carrying it in. Aha, it's a refrigerator. It's a Huawei compressor, Jingzhou Company Limited. I'm gonna look that up. Of course they use R134 refrigerant. The wiring is neatly done. That's the control module right there. This is the printed circuit board of the uh, main control. And um, by the way, this is easily um, replaceable without having to tear this all apart, the, having the control unit uh, right here on this removable panel. Now I mentioned it being louder and I'll tell you right now, and I can see why it's more efficient. That is a huge fan over there, and the evaporator is, oh, at least twice as big as the evaporators I'm, I'm used to seeing. So yeah, it makes a little more noise when it's running, but that's what's making it more efficient. Well, I just went up and checked uh, Huawei uh, compressors, and they've been in business for many years. It's a huge company. Uh, they make everything from RV refrigerators to uh, residential and um, industrial. Um, one thing I notice here is you can't get at the um, evaporator cooling fins very easy, but it's so close to this other side over here that with a vacuum cleaner with a, uh, a bristle with a brush, attached to it, you can get in and clean from the outside. That's something you need to do every couple of years. You know how the, how the cooling fins on your refrigerator get uh, dust build up on them and then it makes the refrigerator less efficient. You can get at, these, at the uh, blades of the fan very easily here to wipe them off with tissue paper. You got to do the cooling fins on the compressor, I mean on the evaporator from the outside. Well, other than that, everything looks really good inside here. Little button her back up. I like that everything is on this one panel here so it all comes out at once. Just makes servicing easier if you need to do that. Now on any of these when you use them as a freezer it draws twice as much. So you have to keep that in mind. If you're going to run it as a freezer instead of a refrigerator it's going to draw a lot more power. Um, still efficient though for, for what it is. Things I like about this is it's very robust, it's very solidly made. Now that's something you can't tell by looking at the picture. This thing is solid, it really is. Very well made, um, heavy duty hinges. I like the big open space in here instead of having it one very deep compartment and another smaller deep compartment. I like this layout better. Um, things, I guess things I don't like about it, it's heavy. It weighs about almost 47 pounds can, uh, compared to uh, other the plastic refrigerators on the market, which are about 36 pounds. So yeah, this one is heavier to lift up. Um, it is noisier. It makes, uh, I, I wouldn't, how would I compare noisiness? It, um, the fan is louder. You don't hear the compressor at all. All you hear is the fan. And uh, it does make more sound. That also makes it more efficient though, because this thing is cooling down a lot faster. So you get a view of this side. A view of the back. It's got the wiring diagram down here. It's got suggested temperatures right here. And then it's got all the uh, data. The data plate is right here. You can see the hinges now. I, I said these are robust hinges. Yeah, they really are. Those are nice hinges. It's the other end. And back to the front. It doesn't have a, um, a cable here. This, these hinges just automatically stop it right there. So you don't have a cable in your way when you, when you open it up. I know on the other ones that I'll, they open up this way and I'm reaching in, I'm constantly bumping the cable and slamming the lid back down on myself. This is the small basket. This is the big basket, that's got a lot of space in it. 
And I suggest that you use the baskets for two reasons. One reason is it just makes it easier to clean when you can just lift all your food out like this and then wipe down the inside. But the other important function that these baskets provide is air circulation. If you just take the baskets out and stuff this full of food, and I've been guilty of this in the past, then it makes it so the air can't circulate uh, well enough in the refrigerator and you end up with uh, warm spots and cold spots. So there you have it. Anyways, um, I like this. Um, and I think we're going to put it into regular use for a while and see how it, uh, how it works out. But uh, build-wise, it's high quality. Everything is very well done on it. Should give you years worth of uh, use. And the price is reasonable. Also, there's a discount code in the description below. Be sure and use that. If you liked the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you around.